So today we're going to cover jagged arrays. Jagged arrays are different from multi-dimensional arrays in that they allow you to store rows of unequal length. Um, and since the data of each row is held in its own array, a jagged array is known as an array of arrays. So um, this should be fun. It might be a little bit challenging, but we're gonna we're gonna have a good time with it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to dim an array. So I'm gonna call this one e, let's call it ex, uh, for array example. Okay, as integer and I'll explain all this in a minute here. Okay. So <clears throat> what we did is I am declaring an array uh, AEX as integer. It's going to be containing integers. And what's going to be different from the multidimensional array is right here. We have a second array. So this is telling us that this array is going to be holding arrays. That's what it tells us. And it tells us the first array where that's going to be holding the other arrays is going to have uh, six uh, indexes. All right. So now let's do x. Um, and that's for the first uh, index. Um, new integer course. And so here I'm just going to enter the number zero. That means that's going to be the first, uh, that's going to be the entrance in the entry into that index. And I'm going to throw a bunch of these in. It's a lot faster to do it this way. Um, what is that? Okay, so let's make sure our numbers are right. Index one, index two, index three, index four, index five. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and uh, <coughs> of course we're going to need to to change this stuff. So here we're just going to say one, two, three. Now let's do one more four. Over here we'll do five, six, and just for fun seven, eight. And we'll do three. Um, here, let's just do one, do ten. Oh. And how about here, we'll do twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. So what I've done is, uh, let's let's go th walk through this. In the array, the jagged array, AEX, at index zero, I've entered another array that contains one entry, and that's zero. In the second index of the jagged array AEX, I have entered another array, and it contains the array. Uh, it contains the uh, the values of one, two, three, four, and then uh, and so forth. So each one of these uh, indexes of the array AEX contains an array that has these uh, entries, these values. So, as you can see, this is very different from a multidimensional array or what's also known as a rectangular array because it's jagged. You see, it has, uh, it has an unequal number of rows, an unequal number of values in the rows. Okay, so if I was to run this, and it, it runs fine, uh, nothing outputs because I'm not outputting yet, it just entered the values into an array. Okay, so now let's go ahead and demonstrate how to pull the values from an array. And here is where things get a little bit weird. Uh, I'm going to need two, what I like to call counters. And um, so dim ij as integer and um, let's see here. We need two for loops for i equal zero two. Uh, and, yep. Uh, this time we'll, we'll do it right. We'll say link. And remember, we have to say minus one. Here's where the next one goes for um, j equals zero to um, 
ax dot make minus one. And as you can see, we're doing a couple of things wrong. Um, and that is because the other next here too. Not me. And uh, right here is where the difference between a multidimensional array and a jagged array happens. And we're going to throw in i. And also here we're going to say j, and here we're going to say i. Okay. So what's happened in this little loop is we said, okay, we have this, this integer, uh, i and j, and uh, what we're going to do um, is we're going to say that for i equals 0 to, to the length of this array, minus 1. So that's going to get it, that's going to output the array, all these, these entries in this array. Now for j, though, for j uh, is 0 to ax i dot length minus 1. And what that's telling us is that at index i, we're looking for the length. Now we have to do that because every one of these indexes has a different length. For example, here it's going to be the length is going to be uh, 1. Or, yeah, 1. Here it's going to be, there's going to be uh, 4 and 2 and 3 and so forth. And so uh, that's, that's going to be the length. Uh, of each one of these is, is going to be uh, it's going to be different as it sequences through. So it will be one, four, two, three, two. So it's the it's the number of of of, uh, of values, and that we're seeing that length as it uh, as it de as it increases or decreases. For example, here it increases, then it decreases. Well, having i right here is catching that. It's ch it's checking the length and adjusting it, so that way we can actually rotate through uh, this thing. Okay. So what we didn't do though is we need to output this stuff. So I'm going to do system.console and uh, I'm going to output. Um, oh, sorry, got right line. I'm going to output um, i. Let's do that. And of course we always want to do two string because we need to parse it. So let me code a little bit here and then I'll talk. Otherwise I'll mess up. And here it's going to be uh, the array itself. So, so index. Sort of yes. yep. Okay, and for the index it's we're going to be looking at this index here. There we go. And that to stream. Gotta have that properly too. Um, and of course this is not exactly right. There we go. I think that's right. Okay. So what did I do? We create so this is to output. So let me let me actually put a comment in there so you know what we're doing here. Um, I'll put um, so okay. contents on jagged array um, with uh, inputs. Okay, so here we create the array, we add values to the array, and now we want to retrieve the contents from the array. So we initialize and decla uh, we declare and initialize i and j for our counters. We create two for loops, an outer loop and an inner loop. And the big difference here between the, the uh, multidimensional array and the jagged array is that in the jagged array, we have to resize the length to i as it sequences through each one of these uh, indexes. And that's because of the changing length. From here, growing, uh, going smaller, growing, smaller, growing. And because of that, we have to adjust that right here. And that's done right here. That's the magic of, of this i right there. Okay, now for the output, we say system console dot right line. I want to output the index, so I want to I want to know what the index is i and j. That's going to tell us the indices of the two uh, of the of the of the array, and then over here, I want to output the value that it finds in the index. So here's okay. Look in that index and then show me 
what value is there. All right, simple enough. Now let's run this. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> I forgot to, to say uh, the code that I need to make sure that I can that the console stops. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. The easiest way is to do this one. I know in the past I did a read line, uh, but here uh, this will work. So system console dot read key. Let's do that again. Okay, and voila. So now we can see that at index. Now let's let's clean that up a little bit so it's more readable. Um, So now we can see that at index 0, 0, we have 0. That makes sense. Okay, at index 1, 0, so that's 1, 0 here, we pull out 1. At index 1, 1, that's 1, and then over 1, we have 2. And at index 1, 2, that's index 1, and then 2, we have 3, and so forth. Um, and then when the next index starts, for example, let's let's jump all the way to the bottom and say, okay, well, what, what about uh, index five? Okay, well, at index five and then zero, we have five, zero, twelve. At index five, one, we have thirteen. At index five, two, we have five, two, we have fourteen right here. And that is uh, a jagged um, array. Jagged because the links of, of each row in the array can vary. They, they will be unequal. It is not rectangular. It is not like a dimensional array. The big differences are, I'll emphasize again, here where we tell it that it's going to be, the array is going to be holding arrays. And then also here as we, as we give it each new array that, we're, that uh, we create and then initialize. And then the big, big one here, which you will miss if you don't, uh, if you're not paying attention, is the fact that we throw an I to make sure that the length is being adjusted as it as it sequences through each one of these indexes. Um, and that's that's it. So that right there is a jagged array. So I hope you liked it. Uh, um, short and sweet. Happy coding.